Alright, while I'm waiting for my other video to upload, which is taking damn near forever because Comcast's service sucks. So Comcast, you hear me? You suck. Anyway, while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to show you these um, two programs. One is just an unzipper. The other one is um, Cyberduck, which is for SSHing into your iPod. Um, I'm going to go try and go kind of fast because I'm trying to fit this all under one gig. Uh, so I don't have to recompress it to put it on YouTube. So uh, first we'll start off with Zypeg. That's what I started calling it because I'm assuming that's how you say it. But um, yeah, it's basically um, a fancy unzipper. Oh, hold on. I forgot to... If anyone doesn't know how to make a zip file, you just hit create archive. I didn't actually know that until recently. But that's how you make zip folders. Anyway, so what that does, say you download um, something download it legally from the internet, you wouldn't download anything from Pirate Bay or LimeWire that's illegal, would you? No, you wouldn't. Okay, so say you download something legally, uh, and uh, you just open Zypeg, and you go over here, and just, no, stop. Uh, sh open it up, click the zip folder, and it'll, you can, what's nice about this, which is what I like, is you can click on the actual it'll show you what's inside the zip folder before you unzip it and you can even hit preview and it'll just show you what is it is you are unzipping before you unzip it and yeah I just like that and then you hit extract and it'll just create a nice little folder on your desktop for you with what you unzipped inside okay and with Zypeg it brings me to my next thing that I am going to show you which is Cyberduck so I will extract that. All right, bye bye. So you open this up. Now Cyberduck. I'm gonna put this back into my file. I was just showing you. Okay, this is what you use to uh, SSH into your iPod if you've jailbroken it. If you don't know how to jailbreak it or anything, just watch my other video. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, so what you do when you get in here is you go up here changes to SSH obviously put in your server of your iPod mine's 10.0.0.2 you can find this by going into settings and it'll show you your IP address uh, username is going to be root and your password is going to be alpine A -L -P -I -N -E. and make sure your port set to 22 and you just hit connect and let's see if it'll work sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does it just depends on your connection and right now my connection is going to uploading this video so it's probably gonna go slow or not work at all uh... yeah it looks like it's not gonna work uh... but anyway basically what this does is it opens up your ipod and it shows you everything that's on your hard drive um, and so you can then manually add things to your ipod through this so if you ever hear someone say ssh this into your ipod this is how you do it and this is the program you use um and i would recommend yeah it failed anyway i would recommend downloading um a program from cydia called open ssh it continually refreshes your ssh connection to your ipod um even if you put it on sleep it will still maintain your wi-fi connection to your computer it just keeps it open and keeps recycling it so yeah that's Cyberduck and Zypeg, and yeah, until my next video, see you later.